Okay, we're going to talk about turns ratio and what, how it affects the amount of voltage in your secondary and primary. So this one is going to be a step, a step up transformer. So a step up transformer is, starts with a coil of wire in the primary and a coil of, coil of wire in the secondary. But since we're stepping up, we're going to have more turns in the secondary. This is our primary. This is our secondary. We're going to have more turns in the secondary. So when we induce a magnetic uh, field here, it produces a voltage, goes through your iron core, and since you have more coils on this side, you'll get a higher voltage. In this particular case, we have 120 volts, and a primary turns, number of turns in the primary is 50, and the number of turns in the secondary, and is turns, is 100. Okay, so there's the formula to get your turns ratio is basically numbers of turns in your primary, divided by the number of turns in your secondary. So our primary turns is 50. Our secondary turns is 100. This reduces down. Uh, 50 goes into 50 one time. 50 goes into 100 two times. So that is uh, one half. So you turn that into a ratio is one to two. Okay, so then once we have our turns ratio, <coughs> excuse me, now we can calculate for our secondary voltage. So the formula for your voltage in the secondary, S, is equal to your primary voltage times your turns. So we have our number of turns in the secondary of 100, number of turns in the primary of 50, so our primary voltage is 120 times 100, wait, I'm sorry, yes, 100, and our turns in the secondary is 50. So if you do this multiplication, what comes out is you started off with 120 volts, and you end up with, after you do your math here, it's 240 volts. Now I found a kind of a shortcut to doing this. So basically, if we have a ratio of one to two, and this is our primary, and this is our secondary, and we know a primary voltage of 100, 120, and we have twice the amount of turns in the secondary, you can multiply that times two and come up with the same thing, 240. Okay?